What's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you in how to use the toolbar in JavaFX. The toolbar is used to display a group of nodes, for example, shapes like rectangle, circle, line, uh, oval, or something, any shapes that you want. And also buttons, text fields, and any other nodes in JavaFX. So let's get started. I'm going to open my IDE. And the easiest way to create a toolbar in JavaFX is uh, using the scene builder. You can simply drag and drag, drag and drop the nodes. But in this tutorial, the first example is by coding it manually. So I'm going to comment this code here, uh, the showing the scene, like loading the scene. And the first step I'm going to uh, code is to create the layout. So I'm going to use the border pane layout to create the uh, scene layout. So I'm going to write border pane equals new border pane. And the next step is to create a scene. So I'm going to call the scene class and create the scene object. Uh, this one will be scene equals new scene and pass in the layout object here. And let's declare the scene size like uh, 300 by 400, something like that. And I'm going to call the stage to set the scene uh, in our stage and call the scene object here right from the start method and set scene and pass in the scene object here and stage dot set title and I'm gonna call this I'm gonna name this to JavaFX toolbar and stage that show all right uh, annoying dogs okay so the next step is to uh, create buttons for our toolbar but before that, I'm going to create the toolbar. Toolbar, uh, toolbar, plus new toolbar. And I'm going to I'm going to create the buttons for our toolbar. Between one and new bit button. I'm going to name this as rectangle. And copy the code. What's this? Paste it below to make some buttons. And this will be circle, line, uh, arrow. Let's make another one for. Um, what else? Oval. Oval and this one will be two, three, four, five. And let's make another node, for example, text field, a text field. Uh, post new text field. All right, and optimize imports and the next step is to assign the buttons to our toolbar now I'm gonna call the toolbar that get items and add all bit in one bit in two three four btn what happened five and text so we assign the toolbar the 
btn buttons and text field text field so the next step is to uh, make our toolbar visible in our layout and I'm gonna call the layout object that set top because the toolbar is most commonly seen at the top so I'm gonna call the set top uh, this one set top method and pass in the toolbar object here alright and let's try to run our application to see what that looked like okay now our application is running and we already have the toolbar and the buttons this one is the overflow button if you click this one it will show the uh, hidden nodes this is the text field if I'm going to make the window smaller and smaller it will uh, overflow and those uh, buttons are here in the context menu I think this is the context menu and these are the line and the text field so that's how the toolbar works in JavaFX so if you are going to use Sin Builder to create a toolbar let me show that you so I'm gonna call uh, I'm gonna open this to Sin Builder and all right so I'm gonna delete this and make another one so this is the border pane layout and I'm gonna call the toolbar drag it at the top and add some nodes in the toolbar like for example button another one and toggle button text field like this and you can preview this this window so if you are ready to show this window to our Java, you can use this code here, the FXML loader, to make your uh, scene visible in our application. And that's, that's it. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video.